Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 7. Churches of Men, Hear the Word of the Lord, Part 1, September 9, 2009. From God the Father, a letter given to Timothy, for all those who have ears to hear. Timothy, hear the word of my mouth, and write all you hear. Yea, let all who have ears to hear, let them hear. For I have spoken to my people, yet they have not discerned. I have written to them by the pen of my prophets, yet they have not perceived. Indeed, they have refused me, and seek not to know me as I am, nor do they embrace the Holy One in truth. The doctrines of men they seek after, and the traditions thereof, which I hate. These they embrace, yea, they claim them in the Son's name, desecration, blasphemy. The whole body is sick, and the head, it wanes, and seeks after all filthiness, after all uncleanness, as one full of new wine, made from sour grapes. So is this people among the churches of men. For lo, the mother and the harlot went forth, yea, she played the harlot, and reveled in her fornications with the heathen, and married among the pagans. And behold, she gave birth by her father, and brought forth many daughters. In sin she has brought forth, in wickedness she has proliferated her adulteries, forsaking the spirit altogether becoming as the sow who devours, who wallows in its own filth, taking much pleasure in its uncleanness. Yet of the sow it knows its place, and acts according to the manner in which it was created. Yet it is not so among the churches of men, and all the daughters of adoption thereof. Even among the rebellious, who proclaim they are set apart from the mother, even they have become as those which they abhor. Lo, they are also daughters, though they say, We are not daughters. Daughters, you remain. The mother and harlot shall be cut in pieces, and all her daughters, yes, all you churches of men, you also shall be broken. Even a great purging shall come forth from within the midst of you. You shall be made clean, you shall be stripped naked, and be made clean in the day of preparation. Hear me, hear the voice of the Lord your God. You shall surely be left desolate and naked. No more shall you spew all this perverse doctrine before my face, a great fleecing of my people. For by blood and much tribulation shall you be made clean. Yea, you shall be covered. Your nakedness shall be made known, and I shall come quickly to cover you. Because of your testimony, and for the honoring of my commandments, I shall come for you, and lift you up, and give you robes of white. You shall die at the hands of men, yet lifted up to glory by the right hand of God. Yea, you shall ascend upon the Son of Man, and be given angels food in the house of the Lord. Therefore, purge yourselves, cease from this awful spewing. Purge yourselves, make yourselves clean, repent, and return. Come empty and be filled by him who is true. For he, even he called by my name, Yah, who is the salvation, Yes, he, Yahushua, is the head, and you are the tail. Come forward in truth, and be the body. No more walk in darkness, nor by the false light of men, who put evil for good, and good for evil, dark for light, and light for dark. Even of that which is sweet do they make bitter, and the bitter they call sweet. O churches of men, how long must I suffer you? How long shall you devour corrupt fruit and consume bitter doctrine? Then in turn serve it to my children, causing them to drink from the vine of abomination, 
making bitter wine from the grapes which bring wrath the fruit of wild grapes which have turned and are good for nothing save only to be cast out as rotten that which is rotten cast out let it rot partake no more from the tables of devils yet I hear you now saying where have we partaken of all this rottenness of all this spoiled food thus says the Lord my wrath is kindled and my anger is brought forth against you for all this blasphemy I have heard from your mouths and because of all this heresy you have put forth by the hands of these high-minded and haughty men they who have set themselves up as an authority yea as the Pharisees of years past who rejected me churches of men let my children go no more feed them for I alone shall feed them let them go so I may purge them and make them clean they are my treasure and I shall steal them away even they who receive of me in whom I come to dwell in truth in sincere love in humbleness penitent with a new and contrite heart a right spirit what prophet have I sent who was also exalted who was not first a base and what humble man was not first brought low who among you who wears a crown shall not have it struck from off his head whose robes and fine apparel shall also be stripped from him in the sight of many witnesses there is one who has the crown and shares it with the worthy yes all who are made worthy and love me above all else those who partake of the flesh and of the blood of the Son even of me the Father those who also cast their crowns at the feet of the Holy One yet among the churches I hear only a hissing at this word the word proceeding from my own mouth know this and understand yes I command it O wicked and slothful people yet you will forbear you are fat and have gorged yourselves as the sluggard even as the rich man who sits at his table to be a glutton partaking of that only which is pleasing to his eye and that seasoned by his hire so are you among the churches of men you seek after every seductive and deceiving spirit seeking to gorge yourself with that which satisfies your lusts yes the lust of your heart pushing out the hand against that which is true and brings conviction and of that which brings about the purging of your souls by which Christ whom you call Jesus shall come to live in you wherein you may also come to lie upon his bosom and sup from his table receiving life and truth even peace as a river a fountain of joy love as only God can give in his mercy fulfilled in his holy one 